blow up, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with that blow up, Hey, you just came up with the vlog also the name? Chain Blood is hell because me and my homies, me, Keys, Free Keys, day one, since 14, Free That Boy, just talked to him, I'm sorry bro, I hung up on the phone on mistake. I hung up on mistake, but he's straight enough, so. Yeah, me, Keys, Terrence, my twin, The Wave Prince, follow him on Instagram, follow AJ, Slime, Drunken AJ, yeah, I'll drink any nigga you know. You know. Yeah, definitely. So, we did that, and we call ourselves Chamberlain's because we all, we all started with basketball. We were Chamberlain, only nigga to score 100 points. Balling. Right. So we all started with basketball, and we all real. We all keep it on. So, Chamberlain's a stamp. How was that vlog for you, bro? Well, I was straight. Got some love on it. Uh, a lot of YouTubers, I got some, a lot of followers off of it that hit me up about the vlog. A lot of niggas asking me about certain songs on it. That into existence is everybody hit me up on that and that uh chamber. But that into existence is what the song that everybody's like, hey bro, what is song here? Well I can find this song. That will be on the tape. Probably gonna drop it in November first though. You going first? Yeah, Coach Prince Chamber. You gonna hear is it's a big name, but it's each each name means something. It's probably gonna be nine songs on it, three by Coaches, three by Prince, three by Chamber, but it's all me, but you gonna be able to hear. Right. You don't know what it is. Right, right, that's what's up, that's what's up, bro. After uh, high school and everything, you know, you had got into, like, a, a crucial accident, bro. Yeah. I know a lot of people around, you know, in our city, you know, they know about that, but outside of the viewers, you know, the people that be watching the internet, you know, they probably going to want to know, you know, a little background on what happened, you know, and you want to give a little summary on, like, yeah. how the situation was. So I was, I had just came back from New York with AJ. Um, we had went to New York for a couple of days. And we came back, and I had went to a party, and they played Molly Brazy, Coldest and Molly Brown, so I guess he fucked with the song. So his name Bo. So I, when you post it, I'm going to Instagram. He was on there, my homeboy Corey. He's like, man, it's him. So I guess he fucked with it, and he wanted me to come up to the studio. I lived in Quinciana. The studio was in uh, Haines City. So he told me to be there at 10. I got there a little late. I ain't gonna lie, I got there probably like 11. Shit. I didn't make the song. I didn't make the song. Then we left. We were supposed to something was supposed to happen. We were supposed to do it another day or some shit. But he forgot. He said I got him a car and I drove. I made it right. And the thing I always speed when I drive. I looked at the light and before before I pulled off, like before I got to the light, I called AJ. AJ was on the phone the whole time the crash happened. They were on the phone the whole time. I heard everything. So I'm at the red light. I'm talking to AJ. I said, Bro, I'm finna speed. I'm finna go. I'm finna speed home. And he was like, here you go, man. But then I remember seeing police, I was like, I don't need no tickets, none of that. So, going down back to the crib, I'm on the phone talking to him, and then like the car in front of me just going to sidewalk. So I'm like, bro, this, this car on the sidewalk. He's like, what you mean? Like the car is on the sidewalk. But I see a car coming, like a truck coming full speed. So I'm looking at the truck. So I'm thinking, shit, go in this lane, but I don't know if a car coming behind the truck head on, I don't wanna go on the sidewalk. To hit it, by the time I think, boom, hit my head on the steering wheel. I remember leaning over in the passenger seat. But the last thing I thought about, like, damn, I got to tell my mom I got a car to that. But I didn't think the car was going to be as bad as it was at the time. Not unconscious. They pulled me out. Shit, I got flown to the hospital. Broke my hip, broke my femur, messed my ankle up. Had to get plastic surgery on my head. I was in the hospital for only like a week, man. And that really stopped me from playing basketball. But, you know, like people, man, I just learned from the incident. Yeah, how was the, uh, the healing process on it, you know, it after that? It was straight, like, I held everything in. I ain't never cried about the situation. Like, basketball, I just, I believe everything happened for a reason. I was going to a new school, Johnson, maybe I'm finna be the star, you know what I'm saying? Everything looking straight, but mm -hmm. maybe that ain't what God had for me. Right. That's something else, so he stopped me. But the healing process was straight. I, I couldn't really walk, I couldn't walk for a minute. Right. I couldn't shower. My girl was going to shower me in the hospital. She came, showered me. Um, I couldn't eat. I had no appetite. You know, it was a little depression, but I couldn't write music. Like, that shit was like, I don't know, man. I lost weight. The clothes, I didn't want to dress up. I didn't want to do nothing. I just stayed in the house, watched TV, watched Netflix. I didn't really do nothing.
I got you back on your toes, you know. Obviously, you was tailing up on the process, but, you know, was there anything around you that was, like, mentally helping you out, like, getting you back? You know, you saying that you didn't want to do half those things. Boosie. His music. I like, feel that. I was listening to that damn uh, Boom Pop album, and I swear to God, every song on there, I felt like it because this man talking about how he just beat Death Penalty. He, he beat it, and he got to figure out he got canceled. Mm -hmm. You know, I... I almost died in a car accident. Then, should I get out? And I was facing charges because weed was in the car. And at the time, I didn't smoke weed. So I feel like this man almost died in jail. I had the same thing. So what he's saying, I can relate to a lot. He's talking about he, they put him on a medicine table, um, on a um, surgeon. They can have surgery. Yeah. Giving him gas. He getting nervous about his insurance, about his family. Like, I could feel that shit. So when he dropped a new tape and it felt like he grown from it, I feel like I grow as well. Yeah, it definitely did, bro. You know, you know, look at you, bro. Matter of fact, you know, you got a you got a C coming on the way. I was, yes. you know, a beautiful daughter on the way. Majesty. You know, you want to tell the name? Yeah, Majesty. We wasn't go with, um, we wasn't go with your highness. If I have a boy, it's gonna be your highness. Period. Your highness it is. Then if I have another fucking French champion, but it's gonna be my son gonna be highness. But it's a girl, so we're going Majesty. I wanted to go with perfection, but my girl wasn't with it. But, it's always like that, trust me. But, yeah, so. It's always. Man, I want a perfection. Mm -hmm. Your highness and perfection. But it's going to be your highness and majesty. So that's still kind of hard, though. So. How was your reaction? How you felt when he figured out it was a girl? I was straight. But I felt like I was low-key trapped because we went, we went to Tampa, got a hotel room, turned up, me, Keith, Terrence, same up. And then me and Terrence met up at Jar Rose. We sit and he like, bro, it's me, my girl, and Terrence, and he said, how you feel if uh, she was pregnant or something? They asked me a weird question like that. I'm like, shit, she pregnant? Like, it is what it is. He was like, well, when do you want a kid? That's what he asked me, when do you want a kid? I said, well, whenever it happens, I'll be ready. But she was pregnant at the time. She didn't tell me that. She figured out on Friday she told me Sunday. So that happened Sunday. And she came in Sunday. I said, if it happened, it happened. You know, this is with somebody I love, someone. Ain't no, like, oh. I don't see that, so. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, bro. I figured that out. I was straight. I just wanted to be a boy. I pray every night. A guy. Right. Yeah, that's what happens, you know. We usually, when a man wants a boy, he always turns out as a girl. Like, bro, I wanted a girl. And it was funny, cause like I just told you before, they, you know, all this started, bro, the whole altercation of us thinking it was a girl the whole time until like a week after the uh, baby shower. So, bro, trust me, I know how that feels. But I'm, you know, I'm blessed with a boy. This kid, he's a little savage, but yeah. you know, he's he's a good kid, man. I got another kid too. You know, together, it's just like, bro, it's a blessing. It grows you, you know, it matures you after a while, like day by day. Watch when you see her grow day by day, you're gonna be like, wow, it's shocking. Like my kid now just walking. So to me, it's just like, yeah. dang. I just remember when he was first born, popping out, like you know, a, that's a blessing, bro. You got a a, a date whenever the, uh, the baby's coming. It's the first day. I think she said it was on the 25th, but the first original date was March 19th, 319. Y'all already know what that means. That's my birthday. So the original date was my birthday. She having it on my birthday. Yeah, that would be. We already talked about it today, even if I got it like. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about. Listen, she having a baby on March 19th. Zero, right? End the question.